Hello and welcome to the SU presidential elections. Today we got Hannah Linsdal, the student, currently running student president. Um, and uh, let's just jump into it. Awesome. So, uh, first question is, what is the main change you want to see at NUA? Cool. Well, as current SU president, I've made changes in lots of areas. And with a second year, I want to build on these. In particular, a heavier focus on student well-being, which is just so important. As well as being really fun, university can be quite stressful and at times overwhelming. This year I've worked with student support on events like Time to Talk About Mental Health, which was an event to open up conversations about mental health and destigmatize talking about it. We had some really good feedback on it and I want to continue my work on this and introduce further events focusing on stress, loneliness, mental health and encouraging a sense of community. Um, I also want to improve the communication and open dialogue between students, the SU and the university. So far this year we've introduced new platforms for societies to promote themselves. Um, we've got a newly designed website with President's blog. Um, I introduced You Say Day, which are all going so well and I want to continue just pushing the, the visibility and accessibility of the SU. Awesome, thank you. The next question is, what skills and experience do you bring to the role that would make you the best candidate? Um, so yes, I'm incredibly proud to be the current SE president and it's such a privilege to represent students on a daily basis. Um, since the start of my term in August last year, I have a thorough understanding of the role uh, through direct experience of all of its opportunities and responsibilities, including uh, coordinating freshers in September and other events throughout the year, supporting societies. Uh, this year we've seen a growth in society numbers. We now have over 30. Um, and I've supported many of these to organise events and trips throughout the year. I understand that sports, clubs and societies are a really important part of university life. Um, presenting, I represent students as an independent of the university, uh, budgeting, campaigning on students' behalf, but as well as my experience and skills, I have a positive attitude at everything I do. Um, always an open ear to listen to students with worries or suggestions, um, and importantly, I just have loads of ambition and passion for any way student union. I just genuinely want to champion the best experience for everyone here. Awesome. Great. The third question is, what are the objectives for your term in office? Okay. Um, well, the great thing about being re-elected is that I can start what I finished. So this year I've started several equality and diversity campaigns which I would continue to champion, um, including more gender neutral toilets. So it was a great achievement when the first gender neutral loo was opened in November. This is fantastic, but I don't want to stop here. The university are now listening to me about this and I believe I can get more across campus. Um, another project I've started is a multi-faith room for students. Again, the university are listening to me about this and it's something I can get done with another year as president. Um, but as well as continuing these campaigns, there are new initiatives I want to work on. Um, to campaign for prompt feedback and results after unit submissions. Not all courses and year groups are meeting the scheduled time scale and this needs changing. Um, to lobby the university for a quiet room on campus um, and also something really crucial at the moment is to make the university more environmentally conscious as well. Cool, thank you. And the, what policies will you deliver if you become the SU president? Okay. Um, Firstly, continuing to close the feedback loop. So ensure students from all courses and all year groups feel their voices are being heard, but also to know how their voices are being acted on. Secondly, to fight for value. So to lobby for the best experience and outcome for students' investment. Investing time and money into university is a humongous decision. Um, and I want to ensure, ensure students feel like they're getting value for that money and having the best university experience they can. Um, and thirdly, ensure inclusivity. So I want to see the election and then to train six liberation officers, including a disabled students officer, a mature students officer, a BAME officer, who will support the SU in ensuring that all students, regardless of their religion, ethnicity, sexual orientation, age, gender, access needs, all have the same opportunities and feel included in part of the NUA creative community here. All right, awesome. What would you want to be remembered for after you completed your term as president? Okay. Um, I'd like to be remembered as the president who, who gave out donuts and motivational bananas. <laughs> no, <laughs> in all seriousness, I'd <laughs> like to be remembered as a president who, who listened and was approachable, so was always available, gave time, was supportive and encouraging, um, was committed, so passionate about NUA students, always went the extra mile for the SU, 
stood up for students, so wasn't afraid to challenge the university to fight for value, to campaign and lobby. And quite frankly, it was just the president who got things done. Great. And uh, finally, the mic is yours. Okay. And uh, is there any else, anything else you would like to say to any of your students that are considering voting for you this week? Okay. Um, to reiterate the fact that I'm just incredibly proud to be the current SU president. There are loads of things I've started and I want to continue to deliver. A year just isn't long enough. Um, I bring with me a whole year of experience. Please vote for me so I can carry on with what I've started. Um, over the next few days, I'll be walking around campus, so do come and chat with me and ask any questions you have about my manifesto or Biesu in general. Um, I probably won't have any donuts or bananas with me this time, though. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Philip. So, um, you know, guys, vote and check out the other podcasts. And um, let's do this. SU. Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs>